Travel is many things to me. One of the most important things it is, is a way to experience spiritual transformation. I use both my trips to Southern Africa as spiritual transformation. The second time around, I was focused on the spiritual transformation of expectations, of emotional enlightenment. Before I left, I read this book by Dale Carnegie called How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. It's his second most famous book. Interestingly enough, as I would find out when I went there, and as I reflect, the people in Southern Africa seem to exemplify the wisdom expressed in this book. And I'm sure most of them have never actually read this book. And I'm sure many of them probably have never even heard of Dale Carnegie. Thus, to me it shows how wisdom can transcend so many different cultures. In Southern Africa, like the places I visited, such as Zimbabwe, Swaziland, South Africa, it's the developing world, and they have many tragedies all the time. There's AIDS, there's malaria, there's racism, there's famine in some places like Zimbabwe. Thus, they are in the perfect position in order to see the full perspective on life. They see one very important side of it. So what are some of the things in Dale Carnegie's book that I saw practiced by people in this region? He says, rule number one, if you want to avoid worry, live in day-tight compartments. Don't stew about the future, just live each day until bedtime. People there are very much in the moment. They experience emotions, certainly, but they're very good at just letting them go after it's said they express them and they don't hang on. Also, it says here, ask yourself, what is the worst that can possibly happen if I can't solve my problem? Prepare yourself to mentally accept the worst if necessary. I noticed something interesting. My friends would always do this. For example, one of my friends said, you're not going to want to be my friend. Why would she say that? Because she's preparing to, for the worst. And that's good so you can't handle the worst if it happens. Also, it says cooperate with the inevitable. A lot of tragedies happen that are irreversible. If you get AIDS, it's hard to get that back. Whether you were worthy of getting it or not is perhaps moot to many people. Therefore, they learn to cooperate this. And also it says rule six, let the past bury us dead. Don't saw sawdust. Like I mentioned earlier, they're very good at letting things go once they're done. Interestingly enough, Dale Carnegie reflects Southern Africa.